Welcome to the channel Scientelectual. This platform is providing the necessary information regarding Indian Patents Act 1970. In this video, we are discussing three sections 101, 102, and 103 under Chapter 17 Use of Inventions for Purposes of Government and Acquisition of Inventions by Central Government that comes under Indian Patents Act 1970. Section 101 Rights of Third Parties in Respect of Use of Invention for Purposes of Government. Subsection 1 In relation to any use of patented invention or an invention in respect of which an application of patent is pending, that is, before grant or after grant. If it is before grant, then it will be considered as an application for a patent. If it's after grant, then it is already patented invention. And if in both the cases it is made for the purposes of government, either by the central government or any person authorized by the central government, or by the patentee or applicant, in case of after grant, it will be patentee. In case of before grant, it will be applicant for the patent to the order made by the central government. The provisions of any license, assignment or agreement granted or made between patentee or applicant for the patent and any person other than central government shall be of no effect so far as those provisions if those provisions means the provisions like number one restrict or regulate the use of purposes of government of the invention or model or document or information relating to that or provide for the making of payments in respect of any use of the invention or model or document or information relating to that for the purposes of government that is no one can restrict or regulate any use of patented invention which is made for the purposes of government and the reproduction or publication of any model document etc in connection with said use for the purposes of government shall not be deemed to be an infringement of any copyright subsisting in the model or document whichever is there in the model or document that will not come under copyright infringement section 101 subsection 2 where the patent or the right to apply for the patent or obtain the patent has been assigned to the patentee in consideration of royalty or any benefit determined by reference to that use of the invention. That is, patentee will get royalty or any benefit out of the invention and there is an assignment regarding that. Now, in relation to the use of that invention made for the purposes of government by the patentee to the order of central government, Section 100, subsection 3 shall have effect. Section 100 has been discussed in our earlier video. This effect will be there as if the use were made by virtue of an authority given under that section and any use of the invention for the purposes of government shall have effect as if the reference to the patentee will also include reference to the assigner of the patent and any sum payable by virtue of that subsection shall be divided between the patentee and the assigner in the proportion now who will get what proportion that will be decided as may be agreed between them that is patentee and assigner or as may be decided by the high court if the case is like that under section 103 
section 101 subsection 3 now by virtue of section 100 subsection 3 if any payment is required to be made by the central government or the person authorized by the central government in respect of use of invention for the purposes of government and if such patent has exclusive licensee involved into it authorized under his license to use the invention for the purposes of government then the sum will be shared by the patentee and the licensee in the proportion if any as may be agreed between them that is in this case it is between patentee and licensee or may be determined by the high court if the case is like that having regard to any expenditure incurred by the licensee in developing the said invention or in making payment to the patentee other than royalty or benefits determined by reference to use of the invention in consideration of the license that is 101 subsection 2 tells about the share div division between patentee and assigner 101 subsection 3 tells about the share of royalty or benefit between patentee and licensee and licensee having regard to the expenditure incurred by the licensee as if for the development of the said invention or making payment to the patentee other than royalty or benefit and who will get what proportion that will be decided either between patentee and assigner or between patentee and licensee or as determined by the high court let's discuss section 102 acquisition of inventions and patents by the central government subsection 1 the central government may if satisfied that it is necessary that the invention which is subject of an application for a patent that is before grant or a patent should be acquired patent means after grant should be acquired from the applicant or the patentee that is if it is before grant then can be acquired from the applicant if it is after grant then it will be acquired from the patentee for the public purpose that is any invention if the central government thinks that it is related to be acquired for the public purpose then the central government will publish a notification in the official gazette and the invention or the patent and all the rights in respect of the invention or the patent shall by force stand transferred to the central government or be vested in the central government now in that case subsection 2 says notice of acquisition shall be given to the applicant patentee and other persons if any appearing in the register having interest in the patent section 102 subsection 3 the central government shall pay to the applicant or the patentee and the other person in the register who has interest in the patent such other compensation as may be agreed upon between the central government and the applicant or the patentee and the other person that is if it is before grant then that will be decided between the central government and the applicant if it is after grant it will be decided between the central government and the patentee and if there is any other person in the register having interest in the patent then in both the cases that person also as may in default of agreement be determined by the high court so either between the parties or in case of any default of agreement it will be de determined by the high court and the points that will be regarded are expenditure incurred in connection with the invention that is how much expenditure has been there regarding the invention 
in case of patent the term thereof the period during which and the manner in which it has been already worked including the profits made during such period by the patentee or by the licensee licensee may be exclusive or not and other relevant factors so these factors will be regarded during the compensation calculation a very relevant comparison comes here between section 47 and section 102 now section 47 of indian patents act 1970 illustrates certain condition for grant of a patent in india as per the act any patented invention may be imported by the government or made by or on behalf of it for the purpose merely of its own use now the meaning of use is strictly restricted to the direct use by the government department or its servants thus the end user has to be for the government or its department exclusively and the use of invention is primarily royalty free but the use should be exclusively for government's own purpose whether in case of section 102 it empowers the central government to acquire the patent from the applicant or the patentee if it deems if necessary for the public purpose and this acquisition for the patent is pursuant to a compensation which is agreed upon and paid by the government to the patentee and other right holders so section 47 is completely related to the royalty free actions whereas section 102 deals with payment section 103 reference to high court of disputes as to use for purposes of government subsection 1 any dispute as to the exercise by the central government or a person authorized by the central government or as to the terms for the use of invention for the purposes of government or as to the right of any person to receive any part of the payment as mentioned under section 100 subsection 3 or as to the amount of compensation payable for acquisition of the invention as mentioned under section 102 may be referred to the high court by either party to the dispute in such manner as may be prescribed by the rules of the high court that is in case of any of these cases either may be during the exercise of the invention or related to the terms of use of invention or related to the right of the invention or related to the amount of compensation to be payable in any case if there is any dispute then that can be transferred to the high court by any of the parties Section 103, subsection 2. In any proceedings, as mentioned in this section, to which central government is a party, the central government may a. If the patentee is party to the proceedings, petition by way of counterclaim for revocation of the patent on any ground as discussed under section 64. And b. Whether the patentee is or is not a party to the proceedings, put in issue the validity of the patent without petitioning for its revocation. Subsection 3. If in such proceedings any question arises whether an invention has been recorded or tested or tried as mentioned in section 100, and the disclosure of any document regarding the invention or of any evidence or test of trial would in the opinion of the central government be prejudicial to the public interest then the disclosure may be made confidentially to the advocate of the other party 
or to an independent expert mutually agreed their report. Subsection 4 Section 103 in determining under this section any dispute between the central government and any person as to terms for the use of invention for the purposes of government, the High Court shall have regard to any benefit or compensation which that person or any person from whom he derives title may have received or may be entitled to receive directly or indirectly in respect of the use of invention for the purposes of government. That is, in case of terms of use of invention, any dispute arises between the central government and the person, then the High Court will take into account directly or indirectly in respect of use of that invention that any benefit or compensation which that person or any person from whom he derives title may have received or is entitled to receive that will be regarded by the high court subsection 5 in any proceeding under this section the high court may at any time order the whole proceedings or any question or issue of fact arising to be referred to an official referee, commissioner, or arbitrator on such term as the High Court may direct. And the reference to the High Court in the foregoing provisions of this section shall be construed accordingly. So, in any proceedings as mentioned in this section, High Court may refer the case to the official referee or commissioner or arbitrator. And the term will be decided by the High Court. Section 103, subsection 6. Where the invention claimed in a patent was made by a person who at the time of making the invention was in the service of central government or state government or was an employee of government undertaking. And the subject matter of the invention is certified by the relevant government or principal officer of the government undertaking to be connected with the work done in course of normal duty of the government servant or employee of the government undertaking. Then, any dispute of the nature referred as subsection 1 relating to the invention shall be disposed of by the central government. But before doing so, central government will give an opportunity to be heard both patentee and other parties as it considers have an interest. We thank you all the viewers on behalf of Science Intellectual. Thank you for watching the video. If you like, please give a like and please share and subscribe the channel Science Intellectual. All the informations are very relevant and very helpful during the preparation of Indian Patent Agent exam. Thank you very much.